Lawrence Williams. He has maintained his innocence for a 1998 murder in St. Louis County. Justina Coronel has been following the case. She joins us from the newsroom. Well, this week, several appeals were made seeking a stay. Now, this isn't the first time Marcellus Williams faced a close call and being executed. In 2017, for former Governor Eric Greitens paused his execution just hours before. Now, Williams inches closer to another scheduled death. I got hope. A miracle happens, you know what I'm saying? Marcellus Williams Jr. prays for a different outcome for dad. I would want people to know he has a huge heart. You know what I'm saying he's very caring. His dad, Marcellus Khalifa Williams, faces execution on Tuesday for a 1998 murder in St. Louis County. Williams has maintained his innocence. Now, several appeals to Missouri and federal courts are filed to issue a stay, including claims of new evidence of racial bias. We found out that jurors uh, were stricken from the jury panel. Missouri NAACP president backs his attorney's arguments. Trial prosecutors unconstitutionally removed black prospective jurors because of their race. St. Louis University law professor Anders Walker weighs in. The only hope here is a due process ruling from the federal court saying whether or not Mr. Williams is guilty there was racial bias, and that'll derail the execution. Missouri Governor Mike Parson could also grant clemency at least 24 hours prior. Governor Parson would probably grant clemency if the actual killer came forward and said, I did it. Beyond that, I think he is ready to execute Mr. Williams. We have faith uh, that Governor Parson will do the right thing. Major decisions are still on the table days before time is up. So if this is the way that he going out, we already made peace. I would be a witness to it, to the execution. I'm gonna stand there firm and show my dad he's not alone if this was it comes to. And um, I'm ready for it. On Monday morning, 24 hours before the execution, oral arguments are happening before the Missouri Supreme Court to argue the prosecutor's appeal. The national NAACP president and Congresswoman Cori Bush have urged Governor Parson to halt the execution.